This is Catherine and Christopher Tipper talking about 401k plans, and these are 11 401k misconceptions you thought were true. Absolutely. So, Christopher, are Roth 401k plans, are they separate from traditional 401k plans? No, I think this might be half of Reddit. This has got probably got to be the biggest misconception out there. You have 401k plans. There are, there's just one type of 401k plan, okay? Inside a 401k plan, you have multiple different contribution sources. We got the so-called traditional 401k plan and the Roth 401k. Those are just different contribution types in the same plan. It, it, it is not true that they are different plans. It's one plan. Now then the second one is, I can't withdraw funds before retirement. Is that true? No, no, there's all sorts of different things. There's, there's loans, there's in-service under certain conditions, there's in, hardship under in, certain well, in conditions. in-service distributions, there's hard, hardship distributions. Uh, Secure 2.0 has added a whole bunch of different ways for people to get money out of the plans uh, for emergencies. Uh, there's early retirement. Uh, and there's, we're also forgetting a big one. What happens if you no longer work there? Then you could possibly take it for cash if you wanted to. No, but you can take it out. Yeah, if you don't work there anymore, you don't have to wait to age 65, you can take it out after you leave. No. Yeah, that's referred to as a distributable event. Well, no, but rolling it over to an IRA is still taking it out of the plan. Yes. Okay, number three, Catherine. Well, Um, the owner-only 401k plans don't exist. Don't confuse features with products. Correct. So I guess we should properly say the misconception is that owner own, owner only 401k plans are something very specific and very separate. They are not. There's one set of 401k rules, all right? And the reason why we're talking about this is over the past 36 years, I've spoken to people who have employees, full-time employees that they've had for years, and they tell me, oh, no, 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 no. I have an owner only 401k plan. I don't have to cover these people. Wrong. <laughs> It's not a product. That's not a it's thing. Not a product. That's not a law. It's not a that's not a law. A, that's not a law. Owner only, okay? you get to only be the yeah, one on the that, plan. That's why it's, it's not. It's yeah. not a law. Okay. Owner only 401k plans do not exist. If you have employees, you have to put them in there. All right. Now then, the next one. I should always contribute the maximum. I mean, you don't always have to. No, but wait. what's wrong if you think that? What's what's the problem? Well, if you if, if if the misconception is you should always contribute the maximum, could mean that people think that they should only defer into a 401k plan if they can only do the maximum. Oh, okay. okay, that's all. No, I mean, there's a lot of things we talk about. First off, defer if you can. Secondly, if your employer has a match formula that requires you to defer a certain percentage of your income, to get that maximum match, do that if you can, and then anything else over that is gravy. So I think where this misconception comes from, Catherine, is that people think if they can't do the maximum, they shouldn't do it at all. Okay. 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 Or if the employer doesn't do a match, they shouldn't do it at all. No. Okay. What's the next misconception, Catherine? Once I set up my 401k plan, I don't need to think about it. Yeah. No, that's that's really bad. It is not set it and forget it. Think of your 401k plan as like either a toddler or something that's organic, okay? You have to pay attention to it. Huh? No, really. Well, you don't necessarily water or feed it. I think it. when well, you, you talk to... about a toddler or something organic, I think you say and. And something. <laughs> because toddlers are organic. I know that. Okay, what were those old toys from years ago? The Tamaguchi, you have to keep touching it or it dies. Yeah, 401k plans are closer to Tamaguchis. Okay, so limits go up each year. All right, the rules for Roth uh, contributions go up each year. Uh, well, it can, just can possibly pay change it. Just pay attention. Pay attention. That's attention your money. It. Pay attention. You're putting money in. You want to make sure it's going to where you want it. You would think it's going to. Do you have mandatory document changes? Do you have to file an EZ? You know, there's there's a bunch of things Keep that track. You, uh, Keep track. that you have to pay attention to. Uh, to make sure it's still that, worth opening one up. You only know, open one up, but like keep track of your vendors. Oh, so Christopher, is a 401k plan an ATM or can I rely on my 401k for short term financial needs? N- no, I'm not sure why people think this is a thing. All right. Uh, a 401k plan is a retirement plan. All right. The reason why the IRS gives people those great big deductions is with the presumption that they're going to keep it in there till retirement. All right. Um, it's not. It don't don't start one up in February thinking you're going to defer you know compensation you know for a year and then shut it down in January the next year and take it all out. 
you might get found out by the IRS, all right? You might, all right? It is, the, the purpose of this is for long-term retirement plan needs. Also, another thing with the short-term is, and you mentioned ATM, you can't just walk up to your 401k plan, put in a pin code, and have your money come out, okay? There are things that have would to be done. would not be advisable. That would not be advisable. Yeah, it, it's not a bank. Okay, yeah, there's a process you need to go to go through and it takes a while for you to get your money. But I would just say straight up it's not prudent. Not prudent. Not prudent. Okay, I don't need to start contributing until later because you know when you save for retirement, you do it when you're almost retired, right? Yeah, yeah, you start saving for retirement when you're 64 and a half, right? No. Okay. This is a this is a really bad misconception. Uh, I think it might have to do with how people uh, with how much money they think they're making. But we've done videos as to every, every 10 years you wait to start saving, you need to double, okay? So and not, not double the amount from before. So if it was a buck when you're 20, it's $2 when you're 30, um, $4 when you're 40, and $8 when you're 50, okay? So it just, is that doubling? Yeah, that's doubling, all right? This is a really bad misconception, especially with Roth. Uh, the younger you start with Roth, which is tax, the earnings are tax-free when you take them out. The younger you start with Roth, uh, especially when you're making less money, the better benefit you have. It's really, really geared for young, younger workers not earning the most amount of money, okay? So the next one, I feel like you've been arguing a little bit that they are the same, and now you're going to argue that they aren't the same. So are all 401k plans the same? You've been arguing about the same rules, the same plans. Okay. So what the law for 401k plans is the same. That That is something agnostic and, and um, neutral. How 401k plans are set up and managed and what the investment options are, what the demographics for the employer are, all of those, what the goals of the 401k plan are, those are all very, very different things, okay? They're neither good nor bad, they're different for each individual employer. So, so the they're customized based on the needs. Right, so there's this, mis so if, if you think you can be, uh, if you think you've got 300 employees, and you can go to the shop that um, that specializes in doing no touch internet only two or three person plans and you're going to have the same experience or the same outcome. No. Okay. Yes, it's the same set of laws, but you've got different vendors, you've got different investment options, you've got different compliance consulting, you've got different you've got a whole different suite of options. So, in that way, 401k plans are not the same. So, I can't change my 401k contributions once I set them. Don't, doesn't that even in the SPD that you have to have a certain amount well, of time? we're making an assumption people read the SPD, but no, there's no, you, no, but you can't make a 401k plan where you never can the change least, them, right? Okay, so correct. Absolutely correct. This is a really bad misconception. Um, the most restrictive you can be is to increase you 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 the most restrictive you can set up the adoption agreement to be is to change it up once okay or change it down once a plan year not once not once in your lifetime once a plan year okay most adoption agreements have it set up so that you can drop it down to zero at any point okay you can drop it down to zero at any point but that's your one change, that's your one change for the year. You might have, you then have to read the adoption agreement to see when you can increase it again. A lot of plans let you change it every pay period, okay? But the least restrictive you can be is once a year. Okay, so do I have to manage my 401k investments on my own? No, I mean, this is a really weird misconception that people think they have to manage their investments on their own. A lot of solo 401k plan sponsors do it on their own because they think they're smarter than the average bear, all right? Or maybe they are investment professionals, who knows, okay? But... Uh, or maybe they're a bear. Or maybe... <laughs> but the plan sponsor, one of their fiduciary responsibilities is to make sure 
that participants have access to financial education and guidance. Please notice I did not use the advice word, okay? We we're talking about education and guidance. You are not completely on your own, of course. Some plans you do get advice, all right, but it, the minimum is guidance uh, and education, so you do get some help. You should not be thinking that you have to manage your investments on your own. So my 401k contributions are always safe? Is yeah, this, this like is FD, this, FDIC, FDIC Yeah, this is something? not FDIC. This is something that's real, I, this is a really big bad misconception, all right? Your contributions are in the market, all right? Even if technically the way money market is written, technically money markets can lose money, okay? They hardly ever do, and once upon a time, uh, when money markets were earning, what, six basis points a year, uh, your expenses were going to be greater than that. The, the plan expenses coming out of your account were gonna be greater than that. And if you had everything in money market, you'd be going backwards, okay? Um, but there's, there's no reason to think, well, hang on a second, we're gonna talk about, the, there's two ways to read this misconception. Okay? Yes, dear. There's two ways to read this misconception. Your 401k contributions are subject to the market. They're going to go up or down as far as the market is concerned. Based so on that, the investments based that Based on you the chose. investments that you choose. So in that way, they're not safe. But there is one way where they are safe. Your 401k contributions are in a trust that is a legal separate entity from the employer. Employers can't just go in there and take the money out to do things, okay? Watch our podcast uh, about the history of ERISA, all right, for more information. <coughs> Excuse so in that way, your 401k account balance is safe. It's, it's protected by the IRS from people taking money from it, okay? But your account balance is subject to market activity, right? Okay. All right, so now, do we have more videos on 401k plans? A lot. We have a lot of a videos lot. on 401k plans. So if you'd like to learn more, please click here. Thank you so much for watching. Tell your friends and neighbors about us. Tell the people you don't like. Tell hey, the dogs Like, and subscribe, cats. comment. Tell you know the story. Contact us directly at sales at hunterbenefits.com. And don't forget to keep those cards and letters coming. Thanks for watching. Toodaloo.